Hey there, welcome to the 24th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. And continuing to look at loops, we're going to cover the while loop today. If you haven't already, I would recommend that you watch the while loop tutorial in C++. Just like the for loop tutorial, even though it's a pretty old tutorial, it's still relevant because the syntax of the while loop is the exact same in JavaScript as in C++. You can find the link in the description below. So the while loop allows you to run a block of code as long as the specified condition is met. Uh, it's similar to the for loop, so let's take a look at the structure. Uh, the syntax starts out, start out with the keyword while, and in parentheses you put in a condition that needs to be met, whether it's true, whether it's an arithmetic operation, whether it's just looking for the boolean true. And in curly braces you put in the code to be executed. Although it looks a little bit uh, easier, uh, a little bit different than for loop, it's exactly the same. Uh, so we're going to replicate what we did with the for loop here. So in the for loop, we had to declare the uh, variable i inside one of the the arguments of the for loop. But here, we're going to declare it outside. So the var equals to 0. So while i is less than 10, we're going to execute the piece of code here. So we'll do document. Dot, we're going to go straight to the DOM element. Right, ID output dot inner HTML. We'll type in we are on number. I. And then we'll do a line break. There we go. Now, I don't want to just start it right now because otherwise this thing will freeze. It's because it'll always be less than 10. I will always be less than 10. So in the for loop, uh, the, the loop kind of forces you to make a third argument, uh, a third third statement allowing you, telling you to increment and decrement the value of i here we're going to do it in here so we're going to do i plus plus that's all we're going to do so update and run there you go zero through nine so we replicated what we did in the for loop with the while loop just a little bit differently if you want to do arithmetic operations you can do it here as well so let's just do i equals to i plus one if you want to do one through uh ten instead of zero through nine you don't have to change things here so we'll do update and run there you go we're here from one to ten uh, it doesn't have to be just with arithmetic operations with with just numbers you can do you know if something is being done by a user keep doing something uh just an example i uh, just wanted to introduce to you how the while loop works we will use this in future tutorials uh as well as a for loop and what's coming up in the next tutorial which is the do while loop uh, similar to the while loop in syntax but works slightly differently so more on that next time Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net as well as the W3Schools link and read about the Y loop. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.